Well, what is going on guys and welcome into the video. Well, it would appear that meme stocks are back again with this latest rally. I actually didn't know that the AMC to $100,000 per share was still a thing, but here we go again. It's being put out there again. I'm being asked about it again, but there is a new wrinkle with a AMTD entering the fray with massive moves. And there's maybe even a new player coming that will create what I think is the ultimate meme stock. So I will tell you what stock that is and give you my thoughts on that along with everything else that's going on in that world. I just ask an exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing to do. It's super easy to do. Seriously, make sure you do that for all the creators you love as it's the best way to help them out. And I may need extra after this video because there are a few fanatics out there that won't hear me out to the end and they'll just attack me from the start. I know that doesn't represent most of the apes out there, most of the people involved in this, but man, are they ever the loudest. So help me out down there by commenting and liking the video. And don't forget to check out the pinned comment down below to join our group if you want a detailed step-by-step -step process to analyze a stock and to be able to easily identify fact from fiction so Wall Street doesn't screw you over. Check it out, it's the pinned comment down below. Now before we even get started, let me clear a few things up first. I am not an avid follower of all of this stuff, nor do I own shares in any of these stocks we're going to talk about today. The only YouTube videos I watch about any of these at all are the ones that are sent to me by my private group members because we discuss them in there and they ask my opinion on the information in a lot of those videos. So I have not seen much of the drama that is apparently going on in Ape Nation, nor do I pretend to be in Ape Nation, and I do not make videos about it and I'm not bashing the movement at all, what it stands for or anything else like that. But I also know certain impressions that people have out there are misleading at best and they honestly are dangerous at worst, especially for those looking for hope during this downturn and during this recession and during everything else that's going on. And honestly, I don't know if the true members of the movement are pushing those dangerous narratives or if it's the others that are trying to take it all down in the first place pushing those dangerous narratives. I don't know. But what I do know is it causes many questions to come up in my group in the comments here on YouTube. So I feel I need to simply give an investor's opinion who has no dog in the fight. I got no money at stake. I'm not being paid by anyone or receiving big YouTube pay-per-views or anything else like that. Seriously, I make like four bucks an hour or three bucks an hour or whatever doing this YouTube thing. It's not very much at all. I also hope that the apes get exactly what they want out of this. And from what I understand, it's not necessarily just the get rich thing. There's actually more to it than that. So let's get into the details on the questions that I get asked about the most. And let's start with the SEC first. And we have the report on the GameStop situation for some time now. It's been out for a long while. And honestly, it fell out exactly as we discussed in our group a few months prior to its release. This isn't my first rodeo. I've been doing this for over 20 years and it always seems to fall out the same way. And let me explain why. Conspiracy theories are fun and they make sense in the moment as you start connecting the dots. But unfortunately, there was no actual truth behind large scale collusion. Now slow down, whoa, whoa, before blasting me, hear me all the way out here. If you were paying attention and looking beyond the surface, the SEC acknowledged exactly what was going on and why it happened. You just gotta get that one theory out of your head. And what they said was that the system itself doesn't require collusion for the order flow and the other games Wall Street plays to go down exactly how they did. It is designed and set up to do exactly what it did, legally, without the need for large scale collusion. I mean, if everybody was on vacation on Wall Street, it still would have gone down the exact same way. But you will hear that the SEC is in Wall Street's pocket and I do not believe that is true at all. Now, having said that, if you wanna tell me that the SEC is vastly inferior and incompetent when it comes to effectively policing and creating policies, then I agree with you 110%. That is 100% true. The SEC vowed to make the market more fair, more orderly and more efficient and cool. That is very generic. And here's the honest reality of the situation and everyone involved knows it. The SEC, Wall Street, Congress, everyone knows it. And that is that Wall Street already has financial instruments, systems, and methods in place to replace the current instruments, systems, and methods that they know the SEC is looking to change or ban altogether. Wall Street has teams full of top minds in finance and teams of lawyers working on this every day. And until the SEC has real-time enforcement power and policy powers, they will be behind those groups. And furthermore, until the SEC can pay millions to the smartest people in the financial and legal world to help them with policy and enforcement, they will always be way far behind. Both of those are not happening in the foreseeable future, so the system will continue to change and evolve, but the end result will be exactly the same. Which just means there is not much they can do as they will stop one problem 
and 10 more would just pop back up. All right, so next let's talk about AMC to 100,000 first, and then we'll dive into my thoughts on the NAMTD, and then we'll dive into the new meme stock that could be coming. Now, I don't know why this number is still being floated out there because it's impossible for a number of reasons, but it quickly caught fire way back in the beginning, but it has stayed out there that it will ultimately happen. But unfortunately, with that in mind, instead of hurting the hedge funds, the retail investors who bought into this are the ones who got hurt. And again, before blasphemy, just hear me out as to why. During that time when AMC was on its run, I mean the initial run, I had person out of person repeatedly in my DMs, in my private group, on every live stream we did in my private group. I mean, basically everywhere, all comments all over YouTube. I mean, you name it. There were all kinds of people asking me who bought at 50, $55 or whatever. They were basically asking me when AMC was going to some real astronomical price, you know, based on the fact that if all the hedgies covered for real. The numbers were insane and had a few major flaws from the start. So I finally had to do a dedicated video basically saying it's never going to happen for three big reasons. One, the hedge funds know the rules better than you or the SEC and the SEC will not find anything because it's the SEC. And guess what? That is exactly what happened. The report is out and they basically found nothing. The report is out and there isn't much there and I guarantee hedge funds have already adjusted to it and moved on to their next phase. And second, even if they had to cover, that would mean AMC would be worth more than the entire stock market combined. And we're talking trillions upon trillions of dollars here, guys. The only person that could cover that short would be the Fed, so the whole premise of the ultimate squeeze to take the stock to 100k was flawed from the start. I'm sorry guys, the Fed is not writing a check to the hedge funds to cover their shorts and avoid the final reason, and that is that the hedgies will just file bankruptcy if they were actually forced to cover. Oh yeah, and then they would just open up shop under a different company later on and keep right on going instead of paying out crazy amounts to cover. And yes, if you're wondering, that is completely legal too. So maybe the charts line up for another big run. I mean, I'm not a trader or a technical analysis guy, so I cannot say that will happen, how far it will run up and all that sort of stuff. I mean, maybe it hits 100 or 150, or maybe it just gets back to its all time highs again, or maybe even a little bit higher than that. I mean, I have no idea and I honestly don't think anybody knows how high it can go. But what I can say is that the notion of AMC going to $100,000 per share is out of the realm of possibility. But what about AMTD? I mean, what the heck's going on there? I feel exactly the same about it as I do AMC or GameStop or any of the other stocks involved in all this. It is not part of my plan to buy meme stocks and hope to get rich. And I've owned them before, guys, not even on purpose. I mean, I actually owned Clover last year when it became a meme stock and I didn't even buy it for that reason. I bought it as a swing trade based on a BS short seller report that tanked the stock in the first place. But apparently after that happened, it gained traction in the mean world and instead of a nice swing trade making 20 or 30%, I was able to 3x my money. But that was not normal, nor was it what I was planning for with that stock. Playing with meme stocks and trading are just things that I don't do in the first place. It's not part of my plan. I'm not engaged enough in it. I'm not gonna say it's wrong, right, or anything else like that. I'm just going to say it's not for me at all. And as a long-term investor, it does not align with any of the principles that I invest upon. As that is just not for me. I'm not saying it's right or wrong or anything else like that. It's just not right for me as a long-term buy and hold investor. So what is the next meme stock on the horizon that could be the one? You may have heard of it. You may use it. I won't judge you if you do. And I've looked at actually doing it myself. And that would be OnlyFans going public. I actually think the platform prints money. I mean, it is simple. And with more than just adult entertainers jumping on board, you know, like actual A-list celebrity types jumping on board, this could get very interesting real fast. I'm seriously considering starting my own OnlyFans page, so comment down below if you wanna see that. But it is something I will be watching whenever it comes about, and I'm totally curious to see how the slide deck looks when it comes. But until then, I need to work on my tan lines. So hopefully this was helpful. And if you don't know how to get a price target or how to do evaluation and want a step-by-step -step process for doing that, building wealth, and you want direct access to me and much more, remember to check out the pinned comment to become a member and at least look at everything you get before you know deciding whether you wanna be a member or not. And click this video here for the stocks I'm still buying in this market and click here for exactly what I'm doing to make huge money in this market. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.